Hey guys, it's Mike at Narcoleptic Customs. Tonight's gonna be a quick video on the Grand Wagoneer. I wish there was a way I could um, extend four hours of work into more than like six or eight minutes, but it's just not gonna happen tonight, um, or just not gonna happen for you on the video. But we did get some stuff done. Got the radiator and hoses on, fan is on, shroud is on. Um, got the exhaust hooked up, got the trans lines hooked up got the starting of the stuff here <laughs> going uh, with some wiring layout and then also got the shift linkage and everything hooked up i'm gonna get started y'all enjoy it quick reminder when you're putting your torque converter bolts in grab your loctite don't get two or three torque converter bolts in and realize you had not put on the loctite like i just did Yay. Whew, man. Uh, screw these. Holy crap, that sucks. Sorry I didn't get any video of that. Um, it is the worst experience on putting torque converter bolts in I've ever had. I uh, had to take them in and out about four times each. So I had to take the torque converter bolts out about four times because I couldn't get each of them to line up once I rotated it. And there's only like literally that one spot you can work on so you can't line up two bolts and then tighten them up to bring it around for the rest of them so that took me um about two and a half hours so that kind of sucked a, a lot um but now we're going to work on putting the exhaust on and hopefully we don't drop it again on my nose so here we go the great thing about these ball socket gasket or exhaust pieces is you don't have to have a gasket or line it up Guys, I forgot the gasket that goes here. <sighs> I didn't order it. They didn't have one in stock, and it won't be here until tomorrow. So we are going to work on getting the radiator in and the fan on and things like that. Hey, so i um, uh, been listening to the Gary Vee podcast, you know, Gary Vee audio experience. And sometimes when you are doing stuff to move your business forward, like uh, listening to podcasts while you're working instead of just music, uh, good things happen, you know, because you're putting goodness in the world. I needed a 3 8 to 3 8 um, connector to connect two trans line hoses. Could not find one anywhere here in the shop 
um, ran inside and thought somewhere in the back of my brain, man, I think there's some connectors um, in one of the drawers in a stand we have for my wife's crafts in the garage, right? There was, boom. When I came back, <laughs> I needed to get a washer out of our washer, like the little washer out of the little washer bin we keep over there um, for the radiator shroud. In doing that, I step over the exhaust gasket. So I don't have to go to O'Reilly's, which they didn't even have one. I called, I, I ordered one in case this one doesn't seal correctly, which it should because it's metal. Um, so two wins, just wanted to share that with you. So I'm gonna get the exhaust mounted tonight and get the trans lines done here in just a few minutes. And, uh, and that'll put us closer. You can see I got the radiator hose top mounted. Uh, also got the radiator hose on the bottom mounted. Didn't do any video of that because um, it's boring. So here we go. To have as much room in the engine bay as they do, they sure do make things tight on this side and the shift linkage side. It's, it just blows my mind. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to keep up with everything we have coming on this one and all the other projects we have in the shop. So thanks a bunch. Have a great day.